Hey everyone, welcome to Intelligence Mod. I'm Theo. I'm Clint. And let's get and let's get you know the, the normal wonderful YouTube thing of like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell, follow us on social media seen below our names. Uh, Clint posts more than I do on Twitter, just to let you all know. Mine's kind of random and we're very Warhammer based. Uh, now for all the now for the actual juicy part of everything. Clint starts the last video on meat. Let's just keep on going. You're here for you're here for that medium rare uh, steak of a video. We've got ourselves today's word is close, and our question prompt is: When did you just fall short of success? This should be fun. Yeah, I didn't. Again, this is another one of the ones I wrote, and I'm having a hard time thinking of it because I'm thinking of like, oh, I've failed saves before, or I've missed things, but it's never been like catastrophic. And <laughs> I can think of a really dumb one. I was playing in a Pathfinder Society game and something terrible was happening up and uh, Joshua, my human cleric, who was like straight good, he was just like the best boy. He was a boy scout. Bad thing was happening. So I was like, I jumped the chain. There's like a chain fence thing, maybe up to like your thighs. And I'm like, I, it's like, I rushed forward and jumped the gate. And they made me roll a athletics check or whatever it is for Pathfinder first edition. And I failed. So as I'm like, we must save them, ran, jumped, missed, caught my feet, slammed into the ground. And I think I took like a D4 damage just for funsies. That was probably the stupidest thing I've done and completely missed. I've weirdly, I don't think I've ever had other than other than uh, Cthulhu-based game adventures, had an actual character die. I don't have play characters die very often, normally, because the games don't last long enough. But, <laughs> which is true. Your player, your characters can't die if you never finish a campaign. That is true. They just live on for, in the infamy, stuck in the spot. Uh, mine, I've got two. One is... One is... Uh, one is, it would have been really bad for me if this would have succeeded. And the other is, we did not succeed, and oh dear God, was it bad. Uh, so, first we do the, the latter one. So, Wrath and Glory has amazing ways of, like, has an amazing way of actually using skills to make things actually ramp up and, like, tension. And part of it is being, you're in this big narrative story point where it's, like, if you fail, all the bad stuff happens. If you succeed, you stop most of the bad stuff. Like, all the stuff that's going to cause you to have to be mind wiped or killed, bad stuff. Like, oh no, some people died. Well, it's the Imperium, who cares? The first part happened to us. We we're trying to stop a greater demon from finishing up a ritual in, in, in a tower filled with psychers because the black ships had not arrived for a long time. So, take a lot of, take a, take a lot of magic users that are, that are solely insane and possessed, put them in a giant tower so everything's focused. And then let a, and then let a greater demon of sensation just torture them for a month and keep everything quiet because it's being subtle about it. And then I'm going to open up a ritual to turn this planet into a demon world. That's, that's what we're going to do. We failed. We got off the planet before it completely ripped itself in half, but we did fail by two. We failed by two on the last roll, and we had already used everything up to get to that point, so we couldn't do a reroll. And me being the GM, wasn't going to let the reroll, wasn't going to, if they did not have a way to send for the reroll, I wasn't going to let them have a reroll. They were at this point heavily fighting the greater demon, heavily fighting all of its minions, and they fa and the tech priest failed the one roll that needed to pass at the easy, at the easy setting. And, if, and, he, and he failed. And it was kind of great. With it. like, he's like, well, we failed. And I got to describe them running for their lives to jump onto a, a, a transport ship to get up into space as this planet like cracked a bit. Like not fully imploded, but cracked just enough that everyone died. Yeah, any, any of the Warhammer-based RPGs, any of the additions, any of the versions, like you're kind of playing for keeps. Like any encounter can kill you. And usually, if you're to the big near the end and major boss battle things, like, if you fail, it's like the world comes to a damn end. Like, and everyone died is usually the last sentence in it. Well, this was the last of a series of five adventures. 
So everything was building up to this. So the players knew the stakes. Like, they had been dealing with this group in cult this entire time. So it was kind of nice. I mean, in that. fantasy, even earlier on, like Terrors and Talenheim, there were multiple occasions where the entire thing could have gone horribly wrong and snowballed into itself if, you know, crap didn't go well. And that's the only time I've ever had a character, like, epically die. But, like, I did it on purpose, so I don't count it as a failure. I, yeah. I was able to do all of that neat stuff. Yeah, I never have enough close. I had a die that I used to wear. So way back when I like, remember that. Way back when Think Geek was like an actual thing, like it was a website before GameStop bought it. They had a spiral spring that you could stick a D20 in it. I went and found a really cool green D20 and I would wear it all the time. And so I would wear it specifically to uh when I would play D D, because again is what we mostly played. The entire point of that dice was that I would only roll it in dire situations that my character would live or die in. I've never rolled the dice. <laughs> I've had it for probably like eight years, and I don't think I've ever rolled it because I'm never in a situation that would straight up kill me. It'd be the perfect dice to roll for your last like death save in fifth edition or something like that, or some sort of check that you know, like you're going to die if you fail it, but I've never rolled it because they don't come up super as often, but sadly, I'm not allowed, I'm not able to play. I'm almost not allowed. I'm allowed to do whatever I want. I'm an adult. Um, I threw it on the ground. I'm not able to play in as many games as possible as I would like to because it's exhausting. So I don't get in as many <laughs> situations like that anymore. It'd be cool because I'd have, I'd have more better stories, but uh <laughs> that's my that's yeah. my close and this is my close encounter with the 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 die pretty kind. Good. it is pretty great but yeah on that note hope you all have a great day we'll see you all for day 28 for day 29 yep this was the 28th day <laughs> and hey we're getting down to the final stretch of three of the last three videos we're so close you you guys don't know if you do this yourself oh my gosh this is tiring at times you know i'm the i've missed a few days before it this is tough getting together yeah. and doing this every time so tomorrow yep see you all tomorrow